Fellowship is not an endpoint. Nobody signs up to be an infectious disease fellow for the rest of their life. They want to become a practicing doctor doing infectious diseases. So our goal is to get you there. The way we've set up our division, it has two sides. There's a basic science side and a clinical science side. And the idea behind having two sides to the division, each one with its own chief, is not to segregate the two sides, but rather to pay close attention to both sides and to foster relationships between the two sides to foster translational research. It's a very, very um, rigorous program. We work hard, we learn a lot. The gamut of experiences and the types of cases we see are incredible and matched by very few places. Tons of bone marrow transplant, solid organ transplant. You see a lot of left ventricular assist devices. The division here is very supportive of its fellows and faculty. So the culture is a culture of excellence. We also have a culture of nurturing. There's a range of people to gain experience and knowledge and to bounce ideas off of that they can rapidly develop their project and make significant contributions to our work, but also to the field in general. We actually have several world-renowned experts in different fields, be it HIV research, be it hospital epidemiology, parasitology research, and those fellows have the opportunity to interact with these faculty every day on the clinical level, but also as potential research mentors. You want to be um, guided by the people who know exactly what they're doing and to know how to not only think about what's happening right now but think about the future of the field. We believe in the mantra that if you like what you're doing, you're going to be good at it. We try to make sure that they do things that they are interested in. I had a very strong interest um, in global health, which I was able to pursue um, as a fellow. Transitioning to junior faculty, I had the opportunity to start a global health track um, for future fellows who have the same interests. When I originally got here, I wanted to do HIV, but I wasn't entirely sure. They give you opportunity to kind of figure that out. My fellows are like my kids. But I also am very interested and very invested in their success. We see this as a family, and they know that they can come to me for whatever issues they are, there are, they, whatever. It's, it's sort of an open door. And so my laboratory now is very diverse. We're still working in virology and immunology, but we use many, many different approaches and techniques, which only would have been able to be done if we had an open environment with all of the colleagues here. I like a collaborative atmosphere. I like knowing who to go ask to get the question answered and knowing that I could go almost any time to get that answer, question answered allows me then to specialize in my own way. I really enjoyed my time as a fellow at uh, WashU. I felt that our program was very fellow-centered. Uh, they listened to what I wanted and they didn't box me to a certain field that I didn't want to go into. A sign that this is a really good fellowship training program is that many of us who train here decide to stay here for our uh, careers. If I could do it all over again, I'd probably stop at my first interview, which was here. When I've met friends here who were really great and I just feel like um, whether I'm here or I'm somewhere else, I'm well prepared to be the best physician that I can be. It really is, what do you want to do? And by focusing on that, and by focusing on the person, we can really make the experience a unique one. When people who are training you are your biggest cheerleaders, I think it makes a big difference.